Okay, I think it's time to send this off to have it manufactured. Uh, this is the uh, the instruction decoder and uh, state machine. Um, I thought maybe I would wait and add the clock circuit to it, but it's getting too complicated already, and I'm very nervous about the clock circuit, so I want to prototype that before I uh, build a PC board for it. So we'll just uh, we'll do that and use this as is. So let's go through it one last time, and and uh, I will send it out. So first and foremost, it's a instruction register. So this hangs on the data bus. Uh, instruction write puts the uh, the uh, op code into the instruction register. Um, the instruction register. There's an internal bus on the card here. Um, part of the, part of the eight uh, the eight bits goes to part of the addressing scheme for the. Uh, uh, read-only device, the uh, pro, uh, electrically erasable uh, ROM. Um, so for every single opcode, uh, there are 16 microcodes. So there are 16 uh, memory locations for every instruction. And those 16 memory locations in this PROM are the micro instructions. So that's the, uh, the uh, microcode per opcode, right? So this counter runs through those 16. So every time you put a new instruction in, it will run through 16 uh, address locations and execute that code. Uh, that runs off of a clock. There's a reset to clear this. Um, there's a, a carry out. If this thing overflows, there's a carry out. Um, I don't use that, but I thought um, I would bring that out to a pin just in case I need it later, but uh, I, I don't intend on using it, but it's, it's there for future. Um, the prom that I decided to use was a um, AT28C64, and that was because of the price and availability on DigiKey. Um, it's an electrically erasable. Uh, pin uh, 27 is write enable. Uh, so I have that just, it's a not write enable, so I have that tied high. Okay, so once you have an instruction in the ROM, it's going to step through that. And it's basically just going to send out a, uh, a from address and a to address. So uh, the lower four um, byte uh, bits is going to be the from device, and the upper four is going to be the to device. So there's a bunch of froms and twos. And the way this is going to work is that you assert the from and then you pulse the two, and it writes the value of the from into the val into the register of the two, or, or does something. So last time we talked about this, um, I had a, a complicated clock circuit that I thought I needed, but I thought about it longer, and just with a simple two-phase non-overlapping clock, I think we have everything we need. Um, we need a from assertion that's low going. So we can use this here. This is a, a, a low going assertion. And then we need a, a, a low going pulse in the middle of that. So while the data is valid, do a write instruction. And that's just an inverted phase one. So we can just use phase zero as is, and then phase one inverted to get the uh, from pulse and the to pulse that we need. So I think that's going to work out just fine. <laughs> Famous last words. OK, um, I decided also to add a. Um, place where I can add LEDs so I can put an indicator on the instruction so we can look at the, the opcode uh, while it's running. Um, like I said before, some of the um, two uh, devices need positive going uh, pulses, so there's inverters here. And then there's a bunch of things that need to go off to different boards uh, and come into this board. The reset, the clock, instruction right, the two. These, uh, these addresses 5, 6, and 7, I'm going to send those out to the ALU. And I'm going to use those for S0, S1, and S2. So if you have an instruction, uh, some of those bits are going to be also doubly used as the, the instructions. So there'll be uh, some values of S0, S1, and S2. Like for instance, there's a, there's a there's eight different things you can do. So one of those things you can do is do an add. So whatever value 
creates S S zero one two to be an add and add, then that will become the op the op code for adding, right? Uh, so it should work just fine. I was struggling also with the uh, subtract in the ALU. I need to set carry in order to do a subtract, and I thought I'd have to have a register, and I'd have to write a carry and uh, carry value and everything. And I thought, no, 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 no. So what I've done is um, I've taken uh, something off of the internal bus, in which is the first uh, data line, a D0. And I'm going to run that out to the um, carry in on the ALU, which means that all odd instructions will set carry. So uh, my subtract uh, instruction will have to be odd. And that's all that's all there all there is to it, and it will automatically set carry in. And then my add instruction will need to be even. Um, so that's going to be very easy, I think, to do. Just have to keep track of it. Okay, let's look at the PC board. Um, it's a pretty big board. Uh, it does have a little cutout here, but um, it's a big board. Uh, down at the bottom here is the uh, uh, data bus, so it's going to hang on the data bus. Um, and so that will have a connector that plugs onto the motherboard or the backplane. There's a bunch of signals that need to be wired out. Uh, the Output from this board is from Pulse, and the output is the S0, S1, S2. That goes to the ALU. There's an output that's the two pulse. There's an input that's the instruction write. There's an input that's clock, an input that's reset, uh, an output that's carry, and then that overflow condition for the 4-bit counter is the rollover. I just called it roll. Um, that will come out here. I, it's, I don't think it's going to be used, but it's easy to get to now. So no, it's actually it's easy to route to because it was right next to this chip. All right. Uh, this is the connector that I added uh, for for LEDs. Um, fact, why don't we go ahead and uh, create a label for that? Let's put it right here. Okay. LEDs. All right. So that'll be for an indicator. Uh, we'll have the uh, big. Uh, I decided to to use a through hole device, just so it's easier for me to put it in my programmer. Um, could be a um, surface mount, but uh, be more difficult. Um, then the uh, four bits end up being uh, 16 outputs for two devices and then 60 outputs for from, from devices. So uh, I put in a couple mounting holes in case this board gets unruly. I can screw it down to something. Anyway, I think that's it. And I will send this out and uh, get it manufactured.